If c to the fourth is equal to negative 64, find the four complex solutions or complex roots using Euler's formula for complex numbers. Euler's formula expresses a complex number in the form x plus yi in exponential form, which is the form r times e raised to the power of i theta, where r is the modulus or distance the point x comma y is from the origin, and the angle theta is the angle in standard position or standard form whose terminal side contains the point x comma y. In this problem, because we're trying to find four complex solutions or four complex roots, we'll have to provide four Euler forms or four exponential forms of the complex number negative 64 using four consecutive coterminal angles. For this example, we'll use the four least positive coterminal angles. The first step is to plot negative 64 on the complex coordinate plane, and since negative 64 is equal to negative 64 plus zero i, the corresponding point on the complex coordinate plane is negative 64 comma zero, this point here, plotted in blue. Since this point is on the horizontal axis, we can quickly see the point is 64 units from the origin, and therefore r is equal to 64, or we can always use the formula r equals the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared, substitute negative 64 for x, zero for y, and get r equals 64. The next step is to find the four least positive coterminal angles we will use for theta. The first angle in standard position is the angle where the initial side is along the positive x-axis, and the terminal side is the side passing through the given point, which should be this angle here, which we should recognize as 180 degrees, which is equal to pi radians. And now from here to find the next three least positive coterminal angles, we simply add two pi radians. Pi plus two pi is three pi, three pi plus two pi is five pi, and five pi plus two pi is seven pi. Now that we have the four angles for theta and r, we can now write four exponential forms, or four Euler forms, for the complex number negative 64. We substitute 64 for r, and then substitute pi, three pi, five pi, and seven pi for theta, which gives us these four exponential forms for negative 64. From here, because we are trying to find four complex solutions or four complex roots, we now need to take the fourth root, or the one-fourth power, of each of these exponential forms, or Euler forms. And let's set this up on the next slide. We will call the four roots z sub one through z sub four, and notice for each root, we have taken the exponential form for negative 64 and raised it to the one-fourth power here, 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 and here. The next step is to simplify, and then write the exponential form in polar form, and then evaluate. So we first need to raise 64 to the one-fourth power, and let's show some work on this. The fourth root of 64 is equal to the fourth root of eight squared, which using rational exponents is equal to eight raised to the power of two-fourth, which simplifies to eight to the power of one-half, which is equal to the square root of eight, and the square root of eight simplifies to two square root two. So notice for all of the complex solutions or complex roots, r is now two square root two. And now we have to multiply each exponent on e by one-fourth. So for z sub one, pi i times one-fourth is equal to one-fourth pi i, for z sub two, three pi i times one-fourth is equal to three-fourths pi i. For z sub three, five pi i times one-fourth is equal to five-fourths pi i. And finally, for z sub four, seven pi i times one-fourth is equal to seven-fourths pi i. So now we have the exponential forms of the four complex solutions, or four roots, to evaluate these and write them in the form of x plus y i. We write the exponential form in polar form and then evaluate the trig function values. Remember, polar form is the form r times the quantity cosine theta plus i sine theta. So notice for z sub one, theta is equal to one fourth pi. For z sub two, theta is equal to three fourths pi. For z sub three, theta is equal to five fourths pi. And for z sub four, theta is equal to seven fourths pi. The next step is to find these eight trig function values using the unit circle or reference triangles, and then we distribute and simplify. Going to the unit circle, here we have the four angles. 
Well, remember, x is equal to cosine theta and y is equal to sine theta. So using these four points on the unit circle, we can determine all eight trig function values, which I've already done to save some time. So again, on the right side of the screen here, we have all the trig function values. So now we distribute and simplify. For z sub one, we have two plus two i. For z sub two, we have negative two plus two i. For z sub three, we have negative two minus two i. And for z sub four, we have two minus two i. Notice all of the complex solutions or complex roots in the form of x plus y i, both x and y, which means we could have found these four complex solutions or roots using the calculator and entering the exponential form of each root shown here. With the calculator in radian mode and complex mode, notice how we can verify we did get the correct complex solutions or complex roots. I hope you found this helpful.